Um, I wasn't actually prepared for this little chat to camera because mm -hmm. I'm having a very bad hair day. So apart from lack of branding on the staff, I know. and apart from uh, apart from hair incidents, how do you feel everything is going? Well, um, it's been brilliant. It's been a great start. I've really enjoyed having uh, the horror channel. Mm -hmm. I've got this amazing little board thing. But yeah, it's been it's been fantastic having those Excellent. guys along, and they've got all kinds of crazy things going yeah. on, like wind mugs and. Um, also got Shudder coming tomorrow. Brilliant. Uh, with, and they've got loads of t-shirts to give away. And well, so, it's, yeah, it's lots a real, going on. It's a real new level for the festival. You know, this is, is. this is sort of my, I started coming five years ago, you know, so it's, it's interesting to see how much it's evolved in that time. Yeah, well, we had our very, very first year here in the Odeon. And okay. then we went off to the dance house mm -hmm. and you spent quite a lot of time with us at yep. the dance house. did indeed. Which was a great venue in terms of, you know, the festival and, you know, starting to grow it with that kind mm -hmm. of really rootsy feel um, but obviously as technology moves on and all yeah. our films need to be delivered in a certain way um, we outgrew uh, the dance house so here we are back at the Odeon yeah. for our second year and it's just wonderful to be here it and is. I mean, from a technical point of view anyway uh, all of the filmmakers are coming out saying my movie has never looked better, which is exactly what you want to hear. It is. It's great. Yeah. Uh, I know uh, Corey, uh, director of Make Me a Martyr, mm. he was uh, cogging the projectionist. Yeah, uh, I know he had his concerns beforehand because he says our film is so dark. Mm -hmm. You know, if the, if the DCP is any darker, nobody will be able to see it. And he went in and he was amazed with how well it looked. Yeah. So what are you excited about for the next few days? Oh, um... Well, we've got Train to Busan tonight, mm -hmm. which is probably one of the biggest, most anticipated films of Grimm. Yeah, completely sold out. Yeah, uh, completely sold out. Mm -hmm. So that's how anticipated it is. Um, and also, um, oh, lovely Ken, Ken Foray, he's going to come and do a live Q&A. Um, which is going to be great. Yeah, so you're going to be having to handle all that. So I look forward to it'll it. It'll be very interesting. Have you ever done a Q&A Skype before? I've done... Personal Q and A's over Skype, many of them, but with an audience, it remains to be seen. Oh, but I'm wow. sure everything will go just fine. Yeah, um, you know, Ken <laughs> was supposed to be with us, mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, he's going to have to have an operation on his leg. Uh, so I see. Hence, these things happen. Yeah, poor old Ken. Yeah, but, it, but we know, still have a few guests left. We you know, do. Over the next couple of days, we've yeah. uh, got the chamber tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, Jen and Ben. Brilliant. Um, who uh, you know, Jen's obviously. Uh, fellow um, horror producer like me. So, Excellent. Yeah, Plenty of common uh, ground. Indeed, yes. Yeah, so I'll be looking forward to having a catch up with her personally. Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's all about me in this festival. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about what I want. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, some local talent as well. Local talent, yeah. We've got the guys uh, today, mm -hmm. uh, for Father's Day, uh, yeah. Matt Johns and uh, the lovely Garth and uh, Chris Lane producing. And if I could just ask, you know, while, no. while we have the opportunity, where would you like to see Grimfest go from here? Ooh, well, um, it'd be great, obviously, to have uh, a lot more love mm -hmm. uh, around the country. I mean, obviously, we do have people from all, all over the country and we do have some international guests. So it'd be great to see the festival grow. But obviously, we also want to retain that familiarity so that you know, you don't get too big where fans can't mix and, of course. and party. You always hope that every year the fans love it that little bit mm. more. Hopefully they do. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess just a little more love. Yeah. We could all do with a little more love. Um, but what are you looking forward to, Colin? What's the big thing for you? Me? I'm looking forward to seeing some new, exciting indie talent like I always do. I always come away from Grimfest uh, having discovered something special. I always come away having met or uh, been introduced to some wonderful new filmmakers. And so let's see how the next two days go. Mm. Yeah, oh, you're asking me about, you know, other guests that are coming. What, we won't, oh, uh, we've got to finish apparently. <laughs> we've, we've talked too much already. Enjoy. Well, have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, you Thank too, you. everybody. Awesome.